so in last episode we have created our, our first api and we have created one uh, user service and in this video i'm going to show you how to start your grpc server on so and so port and i'm going to show you how to add this uh, new service to the server i have created one uh, grpc server class and inside that i have a main method so the thing is that you have to uh, create an a uh, builder for server and uh, i'm gonna say server equals server builder dot and uh, you have to specify a uh, port here uh, the port which you are interested i guess uh, we don't really need these things so we can just uh, skip that one and uh, so i want my server to run on a uh, 9090 so i'm gonna say 9090 and uh, make sure that the port uh, which you are specifying is already not used by some another service to now uh, the thing is that after that you have to add your uh, services now in my case i just have only one service um, that is user service and um, uh, so i'm going to add that service so the way you add is that very simple you just have to create an object uh, new user service so that's it and at last uh, we're gonna use a build now let me import this one so uh, that's it uh, that's how you create an instance of the server now uh, what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna take this server instance i'm gonna say start so that's it so by this time your server would have been started now let me just uh, handle the exception so uh, by this time the server would have been started so i can just use something like uh, server started at let's say server dot uh, get port so after that we have to specify something like server dot our termination so let me handle the exceptions so all right that's how you start your grpc server now i can uh, straight away run this class uh, run as java application all right as you can see the server actually started at uh, 9090 now uh, what happens is that now uh, since my server is running uh, clients can uh, actually use this server and they can use our uh, apis to log in and uh, log out so that's uh, pretty much how you start a grpc server and in my next video i'm going to show you how to use a client to connect it to this server and i'm going to show you how to call a login api so uh, that's pretty much about this guys uh, so don't forget to subscribe us and don't forget to like this video